Are you thinking of using video on social media to stay in touch with existing or potential customers? It's a great idea and can be very effective in these lockdown days when many of us are working from our spare rooms, converted sheds and kitchens, uh, as indeed I am doing right now. As an experienced film and video maker, I'd like to share a few tips with you if I may. I hope that you find them useful. First of all, think about your presentation. I know the temptation is there to work in your PJs, etc. But think about how you are presenting yourself and your business and your organisation to everyone else. You wouldn't turn up for a normal meeting looking like, well, like this, I guess, would you? No, neither would I. Now, for starters, take a quick video and play it back. Have a look. Is there anything distracting in the background that may raise questions like, well, why has he got a box of beer in his office? Now, I'm sure you all noticed the box of Abbott Ale before. It's purely for medicinal purposes. Check your lighting, especially if you wear glasses like I do. Downward light can reflect off the lenses and your skin causing glares. Try to use normal light wherever you can. If you are using your PC or laptop to record your video, make sure you're a good distance from it. You don't want to knock the table by accident. Nobody likes a wobbly video. Now, remember to look into your camera lens. This can be difficult if you're talking to yourself on a screen. So remember that looking into the lens means you are looking straight at your viewers and not below them. If you are using a camera phone, remember to record horizontally, as that will avoid you being made into a video sandwich by the sidebars. Make sure that your position is not too high. Looking down into your laptop or phone may be comfortable for you, but as viewers, we can almost see right up your nose and occasionally feel like a five-year-old kid being talked to by a giant teacher. Sometimes that's not a great experience. Last but not least, ask yourself a few questions. What do you want your viewers to do next? Why are you communicating with them? What is your call to action? And be human. You are talking with people. Be yourself. Throw in a bit of humour if it's appropriate, but try not to come across as a cold corporate salesperson. Use nice, soft, undulating tones in your voice and language. These are very challenging times for businesses and we need to be creative. We need to come up with solutions. And if video is one of those solutions for you, then use it. Go ahead. I've been helping some of my clients put theirs together and they are producing some really good stuff on their own. I hope that this little video has been helpful to you. Take care, stay safe and look after each other.